Hi everyone, lovely city team. I'm here to do this, uh, uh, try to be as short as possible, this short video talking about our Christmas program in the hotel to be more clear for everyone. Uh, I thought like rather than just send an email, uh, I'm gonna do a video to explain better and we feel closer. And I do apologize if we will not be able to do this uh, short briefing before Christmas. Uh, but for unforeseen reasons and because I had to do the night as well, we couldn't do. However, the, I hope like that this video will be helpful for you. So first things, uh, would you like to remind you that from the 22nd of December, which is going to be uh, this coming Saturday, until the 6th of January, we're going to offer a buffet only for breakfast, which means throughout all the period of Christmas, no matter what, if it's Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, from the 22nd until the 6th of January, we're going to offer just a buffet. So the, any guest will have the option to pre-book the breakfast at the reception or buy on the spot in the morning at the same price of 1250 And any guest from outside, any non-resident, is happy to join the buffet with us. Of course, if they want just a cup of coffee or want just a croissant or just a porridge, more than welcome for them to join. Uh, the book for breakfast, um, as I said, they're going to be all the period, plus we're going to open for lunch. And we're going to operate like every weekend. So from the 22nd until the 6th of January, every day will be operated like it is, was uh, just Saturday, Sunday. So we'll have the pasta dishes, the limited pasta dishes, where you're going to have the dishes that are in the screen. Plus you can do the pasta of the day if there are items that you want to use it. And I think that so far is simple. Uh, then it's going to be a couple changes because it's a special uh, season. It's Christmas, so we're going to have a few items to the cheese and wine. So, cheese and wine from 22nd. So, remember again, from this 22nd, the Saturday, until Sunday, the 6th of January, um, we're going to have like a, a special during the cheese and wine, which is going to be mint spice and mild wine. This is going to be extra, it's on the top of the normal cheese and wine, so you're going to display the mint spice, you're going to have the kettle with the mild wine and to offer to any guests who would like to try. You can just have like half glasses because something just to uh, make feel more Christmassy and uh, just to test. And I do apologize, it shouldn't be the 6th of January because um, it's the buffet until the 6th of January. We're gonna do uh, the main spice and mild wine until the 1st of January. Starting from the 2nd, the cheese and wine is uh, back as normal. Then we have our Christmas uh, Eve, so the Christmas Eve day, the 24th. We'll have some lovely cookies to offer at check-in to any guest. Um, and then normal cheese and wine, plus some petite four canapés. So during the cheese and wine, the same way you offer the uh, ice creams um, in the middle like of the cheese and wine, take half of the petite four, go around the tables and offer some petite four. So be a nice uh, surprise for our guests. Uh, on the 25th, so it's going to be our Christmas day, uh, we're going to have again cookies at check-in. So the cookies we're going to receive on the 24th need to be split to be used on the 24th and to be used on the 25th. Uh, cheese and wine will be a special one, as you can see it's from 4 p.m. until 10 p.m. So we're going to have a longer cheese and wine. Plus we're going to have canapés with uh, salmon canapés, uh, bistro canapés at the 4. So again, the light a surprise of our guests in the middle of the cheese and wine, it might be 7 p.m., it might be 9 p.m. I recommend to divide the canapés in two, three different timing in order that more people to have the possibility to test them. So go around, offer to our guests and say this is a surprise for you because it's Christmas. Um, and last but not the least, it is our Christmas, um, is um, our New Year's Eve, is the 31st. So the cheese and wine, bear in mind, is going to be just for resident only. So after you finish cook, um, 3 p.m., you are free to close the cafe. Anyone comes for cheese and wine, I'm really sorry. Cheese and wine is just for resident only. But I don't think you're going to have many requests of people coming for cheese and wine from outside because it's a New Year's Eve. What are we going to have? We're going to offer a champagne plus a charcuterie for our guests. Um, but from midnight is going to be a surprise, so from midnight um, you can add extra canapés um, that you're going to have again, salmon canapés, bistro canapés, a petit four. This is a surprise at midnight, please don't mention anything at check-in. The reason why we don't want to mention anything at check-in is just because we want to surprise, we want to delight our guests. 
So when they're coming back at midnight, uh, the season one was still on because uh, on the 31st the season one starts at 5 p.m. and it will last until 2 o'clock in the morning. The reason why we have two night GSAs and thank you for that. Um, so you at midnight will still be the season one, it will be there, still live. At midnight anyone is coming back as a surprise. Would you like a glass of champagne? Uh, come and uh, grab like a kind of pass. But then again, don't mention anything at check-in because we want to uh, make everyone surprised like the cheese and wine. As you know, we never prob uh, advertise our cheese and wine in any website. It's just because we want to surprise our guests so when they're happy. And also, as you can see, I'm wearing this lovely Christmas hat. Uh, they're Christmas hats for all the team members working on the 24th, 25th. So I really would like, I really want you you're gonna wear one of these on the 24th all day anyone is working on the 25th all day anyone is working and make like everything more exciting for our guests and hope it's clear um, I just as a remind you always extra mile as you can do uh, do your best um, guests are coming to enjoy their Christmas with us they're coming to enjoy their new year with us and also like they're paying expenses rates uh, during the New Year's Eve so it's good that we offer a great service as the way we know how to do it and we make them very happy. So if you ever got any question, feel free to text me or write many times. Okay, thank you.